Good morning, happy Friday. It's Asc Ascension update. It's Tim in the woods and I've got lots more light to play with at this early hour this morning, which is lovely. And uh, yeah, what, what are we being, what are we being presented with now? What, what's, um, what, what's coming in for our attention and our perusal and our, our states of action? Well, we've got a new moon in Pisces tomorrow and um, although this is just a kind of a we we get new moons every month and we get we get four we get full moon it, it's it's a, it's a regular lunar cycle it's been brought to my attention that this particular new moon this this new moon in pisces which is tomorrow is going to be the springboard of quite an interesting and very active operation kind of um obviously obviously kind of spearheaded by like the the the, the spiritual hierarchy and the the angels the archangels the dragons the unicorns the ascended masters all of the souls that are kind of working for the forward movement of our forward movement of our ascension process and it's uh, it's been highlighted to me by a couple of people that I, I communicate with and I work with on on zoom on on quite a regular basis that the new moon is going to be the start of the process that now runs between this month that we are we are currently in to the lion's gate in august so i was i've been told numerous times that this particular period will be used to it's going to be one of the most intensive download download er areas that we've experienced but it's also going to be one of the most intensive releasing periods so like I said in the previous video, kind of, it's, it's we are required to kind of just anchor in, keep our light as high as possible, and just work as flowingly as we can allow ourselves to with the energies that come in. Now, as far as I can, as far as I can tell from the information that I've been receiving, this period of time is go, is is being kind of named by. Merlin and the Intergalactic Council as Operation Cage Breaker. Okay, now that sounds like exciting stuff, and it is. I mean, what effectively what we're doing is we're throwing off the shackles of our previous 3D reality and creating freely for a new, higher um, phys physical civilizations, realities. Everything's kind of moving over, sort of all combined with the enormous wake-up process of all of the people on the planet who are choosing to move from 3D to 5D. But tomorrow marks the start of a very large push of energy, okay? Now, of course, naturally I tune in and say, well, what is required of me? What is required of all of us who are working in, in this particular area? And the answer that comes back to me is the same as the one that has been given all of these times previously, is keep your light high, keep your vibration clear, keep your focus and your manifestation sharp, and just flow. The second we start to move into a state of kind of stuckness or, or, or almost like energy tiredness, dips, depression, kind of that, 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 that feeling where we're not moving or that we're being battered by the energies, it's because we've stepped out of flow and we're, kind of, we're, we, we're not moving with this very fast moving flow of energy that's coming in. So what does operate, you know, so like it's, it's <laughs> over the years, this, this is not a new thing that they're doing. That every single kind of push for the rise in frequency and the transition has always been a organized operation. It's always been organized with, um, the only way to describe it, we almost military precision by the souls that are working with us in order to get what we are planning to achieve done in the space of time or the window that, that, that we're, we're planning to do it in. So the next six months is, is pivotal because once we hit the beginning of the lion's gate, the storm layer that Merlin originally activated begins to kind of wind itself down over the course of the year so that everything now is being focused on removing these shackles energetically that we have binding us into the previous matrix but it doesn't have to it doesn't have to be dramatic it doesn't have to be stressful it doesn't have to be something that you you listen to my words and immediately go oh my god what am i going to be presented with the, 
key to this, as with everything, is just move into it with flow, with the highest frequency possible. You're not aiming to create what you don't want to achieve. You are simply focusing on what you do want to achieve. And that, I mean, basically that's, that's the, that's the principle of every new moon anyway. What do you wish to, what do you wish to, what do you want to wish into your life? What do you not wish to experience anymore? And just simply focusing on creating for your higher good. If you use the momentum of that energy and just roll into this period between now and August now, using all of the tools that you have in your toolkit that are available, like the uh, lots, lots of alchemy, lots of violet flame, lots of the beautiful Atlantean white fire that Serapis Bay provided in, in the meditation Monday. All of these technologies, spiritual technologies and tools and, and, and points of assistance are available to us upon request to get this job done and to ease us through it most effectively. So what we're going to see from our kind of <laughs> our two very Mars and Venus realities are when large amounts of energy come in and the frequency rises, because we're still experiencing duality, you're going to see an opposite reaction to the rise in frequency. So the more that the frequency rises, the more the other, the more the kind of 3D aspect appears to be exacerbated for those that are tuned into it. And so already we're beginning to see the increase in uh, the, there's been kind of curfews mentioned in the UK for for a very specific reason, and and all of the other basically the box of tricks is beginning to change. The, the those that are kind of attempting to hold the 3D matrix as a 3D matrix and keep as many energies kind of bound to it as possible, they're going to be getting a new bag of tricks out. They're going to be getting as much as they possibly can out. And these parts, so the party invitations that we receive to participate are going to be changing. They're not going to be the ones that we were familiar with that we've been receiving for the last year or so, which have been, you know, don't, don't get me wrong. They've been very, they've been very kind of cleverly masterminded and thought out and handed out. And, um, but we're removing ourselves from that. And now that we've managed to effectively kind of get a majority energy that's moved away from that, the, the, the format will change. So there's going to be other things that are coming out and presented. And like I said previously, um, when was, I think it was a previous video I did on a Friday, where I was saying light workers, hold your lines, whatever comes out of that gate, you just rise above it. You simply, that is, you know, I'm not participating. The, the, the most powerful thing that anybody can say is I am not participating, you know, I, that, that is not my reality. I'm not participating in it, okay? Even if you are in many ways still engaged in that reality, you rise above it, okay? The higher you keep your frequency, the less the less the, 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 these things actually kind of matter until it is simply happenings that are occurring on a TV screen that you can interact with if you choose to do so. So Operation Cage Breaker is going to be kind of like the, it's it's a beginning of a big push of energy that is coming in now. And this is the one that I've, I've kind of I was given the heads up a while about ago about. And I said, right, OK, from March to August, it's go. It's the, the inflow that's going to be coming in at a higher frequency is going to be magnified. Starts with the new moon tomorrow and you've probably felt it building up anyway. This week has been definitely, um, I mean, a lot of us pick up on these new energies coming in because all of a sudden we feel very, one minute we feel very kind of wired and on the ball and everything's wonderful. And then you get this dip of energy as you assimilate it. So there's always this kind of ebbing and flowing. But what I'm feeling now coming in is, is it's, it's going to be powerful and it's going to be consistent. So once we kind of adjust to it, it will just be a lovely flowing ride through. And as with all of these things, just focus on what you wish to see in your world around you. OK, the, the, the most powerful thing that you can say and this go, and this word is used multi-dimensionally. If you don't want to participate in something, if you're being invited to 
participate in something or or try somebody's trying to drag your energy into it no okay <laughs> that that, that that's, it's universally understood throughout time and space the answer no i don't want to participate i'm not playing so uh, th this is where i want to be and you bring your energy back in, in into the high into the highest facet of of 5d participation that you can possibly manifest so yeah this this is what we've got coming in it's um this this new moon in pisces will be highlighting the kind of the psychic fields and and all of the things that we have around us this kind of um all of these multi-dimensional energies like 3d 4d 5d and and so many of us are kind of tuned into the the, the higher frequency energies that are available i always go for the highest point possible and and once you are it's like it's like <coughs> grabbing a rope and swinging swinging over the waters once you once you've grabbed that rope and your and your momentum is going then then you move away from it so the new moon is celebrating this this um this assistance this incredible assistance that we have got coming in and um there is so much momentum behind it there's so much planning there's so much effort and organisation that's gone into it. I mean, so the, the the job that Archangel Metatron and the Intergalactic Council took on at the start of this must have taken so many thousands of years to plan and and bring into fruition. And it just sometimes I have to sit here and kind of give myself pinch myself slightly to actually realise that you know you and I and everybody else involved in this in this in this incredible shift are here not by chance but by choice and we've incarnated at the most incredible period of time that this planet will ever see where we are the pioneers of this shift so it's, it's an amazing time and although many of us are being challenged um, very deeply at the moment you know if we if we ride this out and we come out you know the, when we're on the other side of this when we breathe and relax and see how far we've come in such a short space of time and how much we've achieved energetically it's absolutely incredible we're doing so amazingly well and the best part about it is and this is this is information i've checked and checked again we are ahead of schedule okay we've we've um we've done so much in such a short space of time with with spirit you know like pushing this transition into into a rolling effect that we are we've actually achieved more than was the, the that was planned for so we're ahead of schedule we've actually we've we've done i think we're at least one or two years <coughs> ahead energetically of, of ourselves we've we've bought in so much we've expanded exponentially and so many of us are on board now that that we're, we're just we're moving forwards with with an intention that is is now unstoppable so just remind yourselves of that if you're finding the, the circumstances a little bit challenging around you so operation cage break we're breaking the cage we're we're throwing the shackles off left right and center um free minds free hearts free bodies free souls there is nothing that can contain or confine that okay your vibration and your soul is more powerful than anything that this physical vessel could be that the, you could give yourself credit for and that brings me on to that brings i just like to i always like to give a give a shout out for people that i can i can see that particularly those that i've been working with who are stepping out and and manifesting and bringing their soul pathway into fruition i'd like to mention Anne gallagher this morning who has, has set up a facebook page whole okay this, this is the name of the facebook page whole now Anne spent 18 years in working in primary school <coughs> in with, with children and now she is working with with adults and with children to bring back the the physical mental emotional and the spiritual aspects of self which do get kind of scattered to the to the winds when we're kind of moving through our everyday lives and particularly focusing on bringing the ch if you've got you've got a situation where you've got parents and children and a lot of the time the 3d that 3d 5d parenting can be very difficult and is working with bringing 
children and adults into that beautiful 5D energy where everybody is working from the heart, working rather than working from the scattered aspects of self. So please, please check her out. Okay, I'm going to include her Facebook page in in the credits when I when I post this video. So I hope you all have a beautiful end to the week. Okay, beautiful Saturday with the with this lovely new moon in Pisces, and then we're going to be kind of launching into next week. And on Saturday, on the spring equinox, I mean, what a powerful week! We've got all of this going on, and then we've got the spring equinox as well. I'm going to be running the Ascension workshop with Paul Debrio Carey. Okay, that's five. That's five p.m. UK time, and then on Monday, David Esri and I are launching the first of the series of the Archangel workshops. Links to these will be. I'll include the links to everything that I've mentioned um, in, when I post this video. But sending you all lots of love. Keep your vibe high, your frequency clear, your manifestation sharp, and just. Above all, just enjoy what we are experiencing. It is unique. We've never, we've never ever been through anything like this on this planet previously. And um, it's so amazing to be achieving this at this time. Sending you loads of love. Bye for now.